By 1996, Alice in Chains frontman, Lane Staley, had voluntarily left the limelight of the rock scene. This was a huge blow to Seattle's dying grunge scene, and now they had lost two of their biggest talents. It's no secret that Lane was dealing with severe heroin addiction and was quietly ruining his life. Information about Lane's battle only came out years later, after his tragic passing in 2002. However, even though Lane wasn't in the public spotlight any longer, that doesn't mean he had no interest in writing and recording new music. Lane completed vocals on a song titled Things You Do in 1997, before the rest of his bandmates from Alice in Chains made him an offer to record two brand new songs for their upcoming 1999 box set titled Music Bank. Around 3 a.m. on August 22nd, 1998, Lane walked into Dave Jordan's El Dorado Recording Studio in Los Angeles. Jerry Cantrell and Lane had written two brand new dark ballads titled Get Born Again and Died. Lane kept retreating to the bathroom to get high, while the rest of the band were laying down the rough tracks. Eventually, Lane said he wanted to do everything, write lyrics, and track his vocals that night. By that point, it was almost 5 o'clock in the morning, and everyone was exhausted, some having been in the studio for almost 20 hours. However, Jordan decided that they'd come back and record the vocals on Sunday. Lane refused, though informing Dave and the band that he had to fly back to Seattle to attend his sister's wedding. Jerry began to confront Lane, obviously fed up with his lies. He wasn't crying, but he looked like he was about to cry. He reverted to about a four-year-old boy, Jordan explained. Lane acted like he was afraid, terrified of Jerry. He just sat there and froze up. I don't remember him saying another word that night. At this point, the band members left. Jordan tried to book a studio in Seattle for Lane's convenience to record his vocals, but by that point, Lane didn't want to work with him anymore. Lane then got in contact with Toby Wright and agreed to come to Robert Lang Studios to record the vocals and mix them. Jerry and Lane weren't getting along at this time, so Lane came to record his vocals alone. Recording Lane's vocals was difficult because of the loss of his teeth, which resulted in a lisp that affected his speech and singing ability. Consequently, they tried to stay away from lyrics that accentuated his lisp. The band finally finished the recordings, and this would be the last project Alice in Chains would release with Lane Staley as their vocalist. The first track recorded, Get Born Again, opens with a memorable guitar riff accompanied by Lane's painfully tragic vocals. In this song, Staley addresses fair-weather friends who try to wish away the lies. He wouldn't say who he had in mind, but in an interview with radio program Rockline in July 1999, Staley said the inspiration for this song was religious hypocrisy. The second song recorded was titled Died, and this song is arguably the darkest Alice in Chains song recorded. The song was written about the death of Lane's longtime girlfriend, Demry Perot, who tragically died of an overdose in October of 1996. This event basically marked the end of Lane's care and ambition for living. Lane hauntingly wrote about dying an addict, with lyrics like, ask around to find out where the junkies applied. The track then delves deep into themes of addiction, despair, and the struggle to find meaning in life. With its haunting melodies and gripping lyrics, the song resonates with listeners on an emotional level, captivating them with its raw and heartfelt delivery. The lyrics depict the harrowing experience of someone who is caught in the vicious cycle of addiction, desperately seeking solace, but unable to escape its grip. The pain and anguish of battling addiction are palpable throughout the song, painting a vivid picture of the internal struggle faced by the protagonist. The most eye-opening lyric of the song hauntingly predicted the death of its singer, Lane Staley. The lyric, you just up and left me on this rock all alone, sounds shockingly similar to the events that led to Lane Staley's death four years after the recording of the song. On April 4th, 2002, former Alice in Chains bassist Mike Starr visited Staley's University District Department. According to Starr, Lane told him he was sick. Lane was in such bad shape physically that Starr threatened to call 911, in which Lane responded by informing Mike he'd never speak to him again if he called. Eventually, the pair started arguing, with Mike finally saying, fine, I'll just leave, as he began to walk to the door. Lane, perhaps thinking that he had made a mistake, said not like this, don't leave like this, or not like this, I can't believe that. Those would be his final words to his friend he had known for nearly 15 years. From there, Lane then died of an overdose less than 24 hours later 
on April 5th, 2002. The lyric, you just up and left me on this rock all alone, nearly predicts this encounter, as Mike left Lane laying on his couch alone when he was near death. Later in the song, Lane repeats this lyric with a slight difference, singing, still you leave me rotting on this rock all alone, which also is accurate to Lane's death, as due to him being a recluse, he was left decomposing in his condo for two weeks before being discovered where he was last seen. When I first connected the dots between the song's lyrics and the actual details of Lane's death, I felt sick to my stomach. The song's lyrics cast a perfect shadow of Lane's life to a T. Alice in Chains released some dark songs, but for me personally, this was the darkest lyric in a song I've ever heard. Surprisingly, most people around the mid-90s had no idea Lane was struggling as bad as he was. This is evident in a 2001 VH1 news special, where when asked about Alice in Chains and Lane Staley, most interviewed so they didn't know where Lane was, but hoped he would resurface eventually. Unfortunately, he never would. A lot of stories about Lane. I mean, there was so much talent there. And drugs have just hurt so many people. I just think there was way too much going on inside that band. And it just kind of, you know, I think it was just an implosion. Let's just hope that uh, Lane emerges again. I don't know what the hell he's doing now, but I'm telling you, he's probably not up to good. Although it's on the darker side, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I've been taking a little bit of a hiatus from YouTube the last, I don't know, two months. The amount of content that I produced in 2023, and when you do nothing but make content and uh, write scripts and edit, it, it does take a very large toll on your mental well-being. And However, I'm still on YouTube. I'm still going to make content when I can, when I have a spare time. When I come up with an idea, I'm still going to make content. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy all the videos I put out last year and in 2022 as well. Uh, and even in 2021, if you guys want to support the channel, uh, my, my Patreon is linked below. There's uh, two videos that are not on YouTube, and I also post uh, early access if I'm doing a documentary video or something of that nature uh, on my Patreon. I'll post a link early. So that's in the description. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys, and have a good one.